evening, everybody. Thanks for joining in this live stream. Just got to check some equipment, okay. Got my new wireless microphone. Okay, so let's brew a cup of coffee, but man, I am excited this morning. I never thought I'd be like a little kid in a candy store with a coffee maker, but this coffee maker is pretty cool. So I saw grand, our, our honorary granddad Tom is in. Hope you're feeling better, Tom. Hey, Karen's in, okay. Thanks for joining in, Karen. Can everybody hear me okay? Yes, okay, thanks, Karen. I gotta give a big shout out to Karen. She was uh, instrumental in one of my re reviews lately. Um, did a review on the A Cuisinart Grind and Brew on her uh, on her account. She wanted me to do it. It was kind of an expensive coffee maker, but I I I bought it and I got several. I'm gonna be doing several videos on it. Hey Connor, how's it going? Nope, I didn't see the email, Tom. I'm sorry. Tom is also and Connor have been big supporters. Uh, everybody's just been a really big fan and a supporter. Um, Tom's been instrumental in. Uh, some of my taste tests I've done with hot chocolates and different things with Keurig. So I just want to give a big shout out. Thanks to everybody. Thanks for joining this morning. Again, I'm just super excited. Uh, this thing just kind of popped up out of nowhere. You're welcome, Karen. And uh, this thing, like I said, I, I've just been giddy over it. I, you know, it's so weird. But anyway, let's get into it. So the K-Smart Plus, I got an email from Keurig. I signed up for their email. You know, normally I don't sign up for emails from companies, but I thought, you know, what's the way to get their latest products? So I signed up for their email. And I got this, normally you get four or five emails a week that are just junk. But this one said they had a new um, smart coffee maker. Sorry, you gotta go, Connor. Um, so yeah, this came out brand new just this just this week i ordered it you can only get it from their website 200 but it is 200 bucks um which for a cure a high-end keurig okay that's that's i wouldn't go any more i'm glad they didn't go any more than that yeah that black rifle coffee cup um that was it's a really good coffee it's smooth coffee uh, there's not a lot of flavor to it not extra flavor but so yeah, this came in. I'm just super, super excited about it. Uh, it came in. It, it comes UPS ground, so you get it in a couple days, depending on where you live. And uh, I'm just blown away by how they did, by what they did. Uh, I really can't believe what they've done. So let's get let's get into it. This thing, it's a Keurig K Supreme. It's got the five needles. It's got the five needles, but there's also a window. There's also a, a, a hidden window right here. And I think it takes a picture. I think it takes a picture of your K-cup. And I'm not certain if it's, if it's reading this little QR code or not. But here's, here's the neat thing. So if you watch this, I'm going to turn my light off here. I was playing around with it last night. And I noticed there's a little flash. So I don't know if you can see it, but when I close this lid, when I get right about here, it's gonna like take a picture of it or something. You see that? See that light come on? That's cool. Something's going on there. This brew ID is really new. Nice, Tom, you got the K-Supreme Plus. Yeah, I would definitely trade up. Starbucks, so it gives you the recommended brew. So this is a this is going to be completely different to what people are are, and, and this is probably a feature that I like the most, because a lot of my questions with Keurigs, people are new to Keurigs, they're like, what do I brew it at? 
what what out setting what it's really an unknown because if you ever read the back of these boxes they just don't tell you um what to brew it at 10 ounce 10 ounce and people think well do i have to brew it at a certain setting they don't realize they can brew it you know whatever setting you want but this is a really neat feature i think so it's going to read the cup starbucks and then it's just going to say all right and then you just press the k button it's that simple this has all the same features of being as quiet And, and the coffee does taste really good. No, Tom, it's not, it's not picky about the K-cup. So I've inserted these K-cups upside down, sideways. Um, you would think, yeah, I'm so glad that they didn't make it picky. But the only thing I have noticed, so some of the generic ones, and when I did a community tile, when I did a community coffee, it didn't recognize it. And this doesn't, this isn't made by Keurig. Okay. Very quiet coffee maker, very fast. It says, enjoy your expertly crafted recommended brew. Now it's gonna tell you to re remove this pod too. I like that. So it says used pod. So it tells you you've got a used pod in there. There's a little Wi-Fi light. Let's lift it up. So great question, James. So this thing, it, you. It, it only, you can put any cake up in here you want. So here is the generic one. It doesn't matter. It just won't give you a recommended brew. So let's put this cake up in. It's not gonna recognize, but watch this light come on. There, see that light? Now you can do it really fast. You don't have to go as slow as I did. It's checking it. It's gonna see if it recognizes it. And it just gives you, it says classic brew. So it doesn't recognize the pod but it just says, if it doesn't recognize the pod, I think it just defaults to a classic brew. Yeah, I have a clock on it. Yeah I, yeah, I forgot I didn't have a clock on it. So yeah, so in essence, it bypasses it automatically. You just don't get that brew ID, but I can still brew a coffee. And I can still change the settings as I want. I can still go four ounce, eight ounce, I can do my temperatures on this, even though this is a generic cake up. This is really smart of Keurig. They, um, they're not holding, you don't have to buy their cake ups. Their cake ups give you extra features, but you don't have to buy their cake up. So let's just brew it. It's brewing that community cup that's kind of a generic one. I've got several different uh, K-Cups we're going to be trying today. I've got my tablet. We're going to be using the tablet. This is the best part, is uh, using the tablet. Um, yeah, that's what this, this Coffee Morning with Dad's about. I'm super excited about this. Any questions you guys got, uh, shout them out. You guys can chat amongst yourself in the chat room. I uh, really appreciate everybody joining in. But I'm just really excited about this coffee maker. It, it, I made a statement in one of my videos that it... It caused, I'm actually bored now with these other Keurig machines. These are, these are boring now. This thing is just kind of like cool. Yeah, I'm working on these, the espresso machines. I got a lot to learn with those espresso machines. And I was gonna be concentrating on this, but then they released this. So right now I've got every current model of Keurig machine they make. And I'm gonna be doing one. Yeah, the comparison video, I'll be comparing it with uh, these two K Supreme Pluses. Or the one K Supreme Plus and the one K Supreme. So there, it did. It did brew the. Oh, I'm sorry, it won't turn on. So this is the. Let me get back to you on that. Um, so yeah, this it, it brewed it. 
I do notice there's a this this machine has just a little bit of a motor sound. So when I've got this lit up, I don't know if you can hear it. It stopped already, but there was a little bit of a motor sound. Now it's nothing to be worried about. These are not loud at all. Now once in a while you do get some coffee grounds up on the top five needles, just like with the other K Supremes. And you gotta do fresh water rinses. This thing does do hot water, but I would run water through it a couple times. They, they did increase the size of the reservoir. So it's got this great big reservoir. I love the handle. It can go on anyway. You know, you can stick the handle off to the side. This is all pretty standard, the drip tray. So let's get the tablet out. There's gonna be a lot to learn. Lot to learn with using a tablet. We're using your smartphone. Hmm. So I'm very impressed with this with this um, this app. It um, it's got an on off button. Sometimes apps can be very not good, not refined. Like they got a lot of work. I don't know if this app has been around a while or not. Um, holy cow, is it good? It's very refined. It's like, I haven't found a bug in the app yet. You've got to be on your Wi-Fi. They got to be on the same Wi-Fi. And I've got a video on how to set the Wi-Fi up. It wasn't too bad. Um, it took a, It takes a little bit. Just give it time. Be patient. It did take a couple minutes for it to link. Um, but it was relatively straightforward. There was just a one, like one little step or something that might have could have used some more clarity. Let's look at the so again Keurig. Okay, so Keurig's the manual is 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 okay. It looks nice, but man, I, I think they could include a lot more directions. Uh, I'm going to be doing several videos on this coffee maker, so but this manual does lack a little bit, actually a lot. And again, they don't tell you how to descale it. So I'm going to have to research how to descale it and then do a descaling video. I'm sure it's the exact same as the other case Supremes, but. But here's the fun. The fun part is I can change. Um, so let's put a let's put a K cup in. Let's do a death wish. This, this looks kind of generic. Let's see if it's going to recognize this death wish. These are kind of cool coffee cups. I like the K-Cups. I bought it just because the K-Cup looks cool. Let's see if it recognizes death wish. Tully's. Learning. New recommended brew. Huh. I didn't, I don't know if. Yeah, I've heard about the hog problem. I've, I uh, went to school in Oklahoma City and they've got them bad down there too. So it's recommending a classic brew. It did say it was Tully's. So it sounds, I bet, I wonder if they're going to be, you know, I wonder if they're going to be sending this information up to their website and learning these K-Cups as people put them in. It, I'll be, you know, I, I'll be interesting to know what they are going to, if they're going to send any information back to, to them. So let's, so that was the coolest part. See, so here's the app and it told me, it said it's learning. So it's got the Tully's symbol. Then you click on this this um, this little bar here, and it brings up these sliders. I thought this was very well done. Now the sliders aren't infinite; you've got notches, but.
but this and and they labeled the words. So I just can't say enough how I think Keurig has upped their game on this. Labeling the words instead of um, like hot extra. They got max hot, extra hot, hotter, hot, warmer, and warm. That's ingenious because people don't want to know. Oh, it's the third warmest one. It's the seventh, and then the the robust. This is like a bold brew, strong, intense. Excellent job on this. I, I really can't say enough good things about this. And same with the ounces. So the ounces are just standard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wild hogs are hard to kill. But they, um, yeah. So the ounces, and we've got this. So, and then that correspond, then, then here's the next best thing. So I can, I can, so when I put that cup in, I can, um, I can pick a setting that I like, extra hot. I want it robust. I want an eight ounce. And I hit this little heart button and I, and I can name it. Normally when you do the save from the machine, you can do this from the machine, but it, it won't let you type out a name. Yeah. So let's just call this. Granddad, let's see if we can do spaces. Okay, it even lets us do spaces. Create a favorite. All right, there's the granddad, Tom. I know, I, I'm, total, I, I'm totally impressed with the app too. So there I've got it. And then here's the next, this is the funnest thing. So this K button, I can just hit that. Now, I do like this warning because if you don't have a mug in here, you're going to get scolding hot water just coming all over your counter or, you know, you could cause some damage there. But it says, please ensure you have a mug in place. So, yeah, definitely don't just get used to clicking this. I've actually caught myself. I didn't have a mug on either one time. So make sure you're reading that. Hit continue. And there's the, there's the cool part. Now I can tap to cancel it. But you get this remote brew in progress. How cool is that? That's cool. And I will be doing a detailed review that will be very simple and straightforward. Thanks, Warren. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm, I was just, I'm just excited about this coffee maker and there's so much to show and I think people are gonna love it. Again, but it's $200. Let's hope they run some specials maybe around Thanksgiving. You know, it's going to be in time for the holidays this year. And I know people worry about if, you know, they've had K Supreme's break. You know, I hope these are like a traditional um, appliance that if they, if they do break, appliances usually, you know, electronic stuff generally breaks within the first three or four months if it's going to break. After that, they typically last. Now, that's not always the case, but that's kind of a good rule of thumb. So we can see, yeah, this is a strong brew, so it's taken a while. Would I still purchase it if it didn't have the app? <sighs> I w uh, well, that's a great question. Karen, you come up with some of the best questions. <laughs> some thinkers. A lot of my questions are just no-brainers, and I'm like, oh, yeah, this, that, this, that. That's a great question. Would I do it without the app? Yeah, yeah. Am I going to use the, well, am I going to use the app a bunch? Now, now I've been thinking about this. It's really fun right now, and am I going to use, you know, I'm, I am going to use the app, um, but um, I would still buy it without the app. I do think that brew sense, and I would definitely recommend this to somebody because, again, I just, there was a couple articles out on Cure Eggs. And I might be quoting something wrong. I think they sold 3 million cure eggs last year, and there's something like 30 million cure eggs in use. Um, that's a pretty big statistic. And um, so, and I get a lot of and people are new to, to, and to cure eggs, and these things can be very intimidating, very, very intimidating. So I think what they've done here, um, they've learned. I don't know if they've learned or not, but that maybe they've, they're kind of just making it easier for the consumer. So this is a very easy curing machine. 
Oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm 100% positive they got an, an Apple app. <laughs> Seems like everything gets an Apple app before Samsung and Google products, but. So, yeah, I would definitely get it even without the app because of just, they're making it easy and I would definitely recommend this to people because um, when people, you know, you know, coffee's an early morning thing usually. And to me, I don't want to think about it a lot. I just want to brew a cup of coffee. I don't want to, I don't want to go through a whole big process. Now there's going to be some special features. Now they're really going to want to tie you in. What's my favorite brand of coffee to brew? Right now I'm drinking Dunkin' Donuts. I just started this. Um, I just started this Cameron Specialty Brew. This is at Walmart. It's already ground. Um, it's pretty nice coffee. I'm more of a just a mellow, just a just a real basic coffee. But they're going to want you to really buy into this. They're going to want to send you K-Cups, which, you know, I have priced their K-Cups on their site. They're, they're reasonable. But they're going to want to set you up for an auto brew, an auto subscription, and, you know, and different things. There's an inbox. There's settings. My brewers. So it's got my brewer. Medium roast, yeah, medium roast. The Cameron's the medium roast. There's my Wi-Fi brewer details. So it gives me the model number software. Great stuff. Oh, wow. No oh, this, and that's another feature. So this thing has scheduled brews. Yeah, definitely ideal. Um, now, being able to schedule a brew... Uh, you got to keep in mind. So if I, to set the schedule to actually brew the coffee, so say you get up, you know, 4.30 and you're out, you're in your kitchen around five, you, you know, keep, keep in mind, these things cool off so quick. So if you have it, if you have your coffee sitting there ready to go at five o'clock, um, that's a great question, Tom. Let me write that down. I'm going to check that. I'm going to write some of these questions down. How hot is hot? So yeah, these, um, I don't know that I would brew a coffee and have it there waiting for me because coffee cools down so quick. Now, laying in bed, would it be nice to pull out my phone and, and have everything ready and say brew? And then, because I, if I know I'm walking out to the, to the kitchen and have it there sitting there waiting for me, yeah, that, that's pretty neat. I did see something here in settings. I, want, I think I saw high altitude brew. Yeah. It's spinning. Yeah. Thanks, James. I can turn high altitude on and off from the brewer settings. Wow. That's new. I'm sure there's a way to turn it on and off on the machine too, but just stumbled upon that. Let's go back to the brewer. Brew ID recognizes your K-Cups and customizes Yep. I thought there was going to be a way. I think they're going to tell you. Okay, so your customizable brews are, are just, you just, I got Test, I've got Yummy, I've got Favorite One, Granddad Tom, Custom Brew, Create Your Own, Tap to Create, so I can create one before. I don't even have to have a K-Cup in there and I can create one. And I can label this. Karen. There you go. And then the neat thing about those those favorites is they show up over here. Yeah, take your cake up out. No pod detected. Yeah, that's true about the warming up microwave. Yeah, that's really true. I can start 
Starbucks recommended brew. So let's hit, that's the little favorite button. Oh no, no hit the heart button. And this is where I can scroll through. Now you're, it's a little, the screen is not touch, but you gotta use these buttons when they light up next to it. So there's yummy, favorite one, granddad Tom. Oh, it didn't save Karen. Where's my favorites? Got it. May have found my first glitch. It didn't bring Karen over. So let's, um, Huh, didn't bring one of the test the uh, favorites over. Of course, the machine was shutting off at the time, so this thing does power down after just a bit. So yeah, let's scroll over. Custom brew. No, you don't need the app. But you do need the app to label them something. There's go. Okay, so it does take a minute. So I got, I just didn't give it enough time. So it does just have to give it a minute. They don't come over automatically right away. There's chaos. Okay. Um. Yeah, and I can do. So let's do. So let's do a favorite. So say you, you like eight ounce, you like really hot temperature, but the strength you want really low. So just hit the save button. Nope. No, you gotta hit that button, I'm sorry. So I got the strength all the way down, the temperature all the way up, eight ounce. Just hit this button. No, that's the recommended brew. Oh, I got so much to learn with this. I know you can do it. I just can't figure it out right now. Hmm. Okay, so Tom was wanting to do... Let's check the temperature of the hottest... of the hottest one. Okay, so let's go back to let's create a custom brew. Let's go to the hot, robust, eight ounce. Make sure I got a mug. One eighty seven, I saw one ninety, one ninety one. Yeah, that's pretty hot. That's really, really, that's the maximum. I've got it on the maximum heat, Tom. So I saw one ninety one. Whoa, I saw one ninety three there for a second. Wow, that is pretty hot. Ninety five. Ninety-seven. One nine. Oh, two hundred. I saw two hundred. I've got it right as it, right as it's coming out of the coffee. Wow, that is really hot. So you, but when it gets to the coffee cup, it cools off so quick. I saw one eighty right away, but see how it's just cooling off so quick. One seventy-six, one seventy-five. What to do the coolest setting?
And so here's another thing I like. Um, if you go to brew, it says I got to use, so here, I think it sensed, let's see if it senses an old K-cup. Ah, it does. It knows I've got a previously used K-cup in here. I love this. I get this question a lot. Now you can overwrite it. So it says, brewing with a previously used pod can cause an overflow. Okay. So they're warning you. Now I know there are, there are some people out there that brew through a, the K-cup twice. I don't, um, but they do give you the option, but at least they're warning you saying, hey, don't do it. You could, um, that's what's gonna happen. So you just would click okay. Then I could hit, then it activates it and I can hit the K. But I'm not gonna brew um, through a cake up twice. I don't wanna, there's how the needles are doing. So we've been brewing some, all right, let's do the, let's do the coldest setting. Let's do this, this is Amazon's brand. No, this is Victoria Allen. Let's do a Victoria Allen. Let's see if it recognizes it. Got the brew ID going. Learning new recommended brew settings for this pod. So maybe they don't know. Okay. They looks like they just gave me a classic brew. That kind of tells me they don't know this pod yet. But maybe they're doing some, you know, they're maybe they're doing something behind the scenes to learn this pod. So let's go. Let's put it on this this and then again they label that warm. They label that warm, that's awesome. Let's do eight ounces, rich, balanced. Let's just do balanced, warm, brew, continue. And again, thanks everybody for joining in today. About 175, 180, 181. I've got it right in the stream too. 183. Talk about 183, 184. Yeah, I don't know how it knows it's previously used. <laughs> That's a great question. 186, so I did see 186. So that gives, that's about a 14 degree temperature split. Yeah, this is a nice Christmas gift for sure. Is there, oh yeah, definitely an iced coffee setting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do an iced coffee real quick. So it's got this iced button. And again, so let's leave the cake up in there. Let's see if it, let's see if it recognizes it's an old cake up. Yeah, it reckon, I, I don't know how it recognizes it. I mean, wow, they got some stuff going they got some stuff going on here. <laughs> they've been they've been doing some stuff behind the scenes. Because this is I'm just keeping a track of the I don't see any coffee grounds. Again, I see some coffee grounds up here, but normally they don't make it into your coffee because they create a seal up here and they usually stay on the top side, but eventually they will make it to your coffee. They're this is just a game changer. Again. None of these old Keurigs. This is their most current. This is the K Supreme Plus. I mean, nothing. This they've just went leaps and bounds. We went from flip phones to the iPhone. Let me get set up for an iced coffee.
You still use a BlackBerry? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so we're gonna do an iced coffee. Now, this is a, I wanna caution everybody, this is a uh, mason jar, it's glass. They don't recommend you brewing your hot coffee filled with ice into a glass jar. I did have a viewer that their, um, it did break on them. They do want you to use plastic um, because of, you know, this thing can break. It's such a shock to the glass. Okay, so let's hit the iced button. Nice, from Japan, no way. Are you from Japan, Black Rose? So let's hit, it's, it, it recognizes the Folgers. Here's another thing, I like, the, I like how the app says it's Folgers Black Silk. I mean, that's just, to me, that's so cool. But let's hit the iced coffee. Okay, brew over ice, brew directly into an iced filled cup. So the machine, yeah, having an ice dispenser is the best. So I've got my ice filled. Now this thing does not let, it's, it's gonna give you the settings and it doesn't let you change. Brew over ice settings has been crafted to brew a great tasting ice drink for a larger drink brew two pots. Hit okay. So I, they're not wanting you to brew more than six ounces. And it even, oh, even there it says don't use glass. Do not use glass. So definitely, I haven't had a problem yet, but again, that doesn't mean that they, this thing wouldn't break. Intense over ice. So see, when I try to change a setting, it wants me, it's not going to let me hit OK. So over ice, they've kind of locked the settings, which they did on those other machines. It's six ounces. It says it's going to do six ounces intense over ice. So let's just hit the big K button. Yeah, a Yeti would work good. I'm sorry. But you don't get the cool uh, videos with the coffee flowing over the ice. See, I just it, 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 this app works really good. University of Houston. Okay, yeah, let's check it. Now, let's check a temperature. That's really hot coffee coming out. Jeez, that's really hot. You think they would have lowered the temperature. But you have to brew a coffee, so... You know, that's interesting. I want to go back and do that some more. It's cooling down. That's very interesting. I just saw something there I hadn't saw in other, I'm not saying other Keurigs didn't do it. I saw it, I saw a really hot temperature at first, and then I saw the temperature cool down. Which you, when you brew coffee, it stays at a constant temperature the whole time. Let's play around with that. So there's the ice. And again, if you, if you, as long as you use enough ice, you've got a really nice cold iced coffee. I want to play around with that feature. So let's do this one more time. All right. Oh, yeah. I, I'm already going to give it. Yeah, yeah. I got to put this. We're going to do the official. The official sticker seal of approval. Oh, yeah. This thing's getting it. Where do we want to put it? Let's put it right here. This thing is awesome. I love it. It definitely got the official Just a Dad sticker seal of approval. All right, what do we want to brew? Dark Magic, Maxwell House, French Roast. Somebody pick, first one to pick. Pete's Coffee, Pike Place. Yep, I think you're right, James. I think they're creating a bloom. Maxwell House, all right. We got a Maxwell House pick. I think you're right. I think they're creating a bloom and then they're cooling it off. Brew 
through ID. And this is fast. I mean, I don't mind that time that it takes to do the brew ID. I don't mind. Let's hit the iced coffee. All right, now I'm gonna put this in my holder. Let's use the app. Brew in progress. Uh oh, I think it used, I think I saw something. So when I brewed it from the app, it brewed, it didn't, it didn't keep the settings that I had. Because it's not showing over ice. It's showing that it's using a favorite. Okay, okay, this is good. We're finding some, some not, maybe not glitches, just how it's gonna work, I think. Because I had different settings up here and I had over ice selected up here. Yeah, this is, this is not over ice. Okay, okay, we're finding some things. finish. I've got another Maxwell house. Yeah. Me, I'll have to, well, I got a dishwasher. All right. Yeah, museum. Yep, I definitely do. I had to, I had to buy some shelves for them. Let's see if we can watch this. Let's watch that light again. Let's see if we can get a better video of it. Oh yeah, look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, let's do over ice. I've got to use these settings, something when I clicked here, it still had the, the other settings. I wonder if I can do over, let's not play with that yet, but. So I'll use this, just these buttons. So now I'm doing over ice. So let me put you in the holder. So I bet, I bet we're gonna see a high temperature. Like, we're gonna create that bloom. I just learned about coffee bloom, oh, a couple months ago. So we've got 170, it bumps up pretty quick, 183, yeah, it's going really quick. 189, 190, 193, that's really, really hot. 195. Okay, 96. Okay, now it's starting to cool off. That's awesome. It cools off quick, but they're still running water through it, which they don't, nor they don't do this on a normal brew, just over iced. Wow, interesting. I just learned something new today about a Keurig, and I gotta check it on the other Keurigs, um, because these Keurigs have over ice too, and I've checked the temperature when I do over ice, but I've never, um, I've never held it there like I did today. Oh, and there's our ad, our infamous ad water light. <laughs> we all love the ad water light, even though I got a ton of water in there. Now, who can tell me how they're doing that? I have no idea. The old Keurigs had a float in here that was kind of, 
you know, but I, it must be internally. I'm thinking a certain amount of pressure or something. Maybe there's a pressure switch in here. I don't know. I don't know how they're doing that. But let me go add some water. Okay, and we're back. Okay, let's. I'm gonna reach out to you guys. What um, What do you want to see next? Thanks everybody for joining in. We've got, this is the most we've ever had on a live stream, 20 views. I Hopefully, did everybody get a notification? I posted it last night that I was gonna go live. Yes, okay, good, you got the mail, okay, good. What's everybody wanna see next? Anything you guys were curious about? Oh, I think this thing's gonna eventually. You're gonna be able. To, you're gonna be able to um, lay in bed and 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 talk to your uh, your your smart device like your Alexa or your, your Google device and say, "Brew me a cup of coffee." I think it's not real. It, I haven't seen how that's. Uh, they haven't mentioned that yet, but I, I thought I heard that. Um, what's my brew style? Brews you like, oh, this is where they're tracking. Okay. So they are going to track what you're brewing. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> James. Hey, Google, start my caffeine drip. How tall of a travel mug will fit? Okay. Great question. I think it's the standard seven. They call it the seven inch travel mug. But again, you got to keep in mind there's these little, yeah, seven inches because there's a little thing that sticks down right there. And there's a little ledge that comes down. So it's not all the way to here. You gotta go right to here. Seven inch travel mug is what they say fits. Hey Google, start my caffeine drip. <laughs> Funny stuff. Your guys' comments make me laugh. Got the, yeah, that would be interesting. I got I got both the Echo and the, the Google. How tall travel, okay, I got that. So here's the My Brew style I clicked on. Here's what you've been brewing lately. Oh yeah, they're, they're gonna love this. They're gonna see what you're brewing. Which, I, I mean, I don't care. But they're gonna use that, you know, and they're gonna, um, you know, they'll send you suggestions. Hey, you're running low on dark roast or which if they do things right, um, th that could be very, very helpful. Yeah. See the subscription best offer. I'm just, I've done the math on their subscriptions. Um, you gotta, it seems like you gotta drink a lot of coffee. Does it brew hot? Well, we just did. So we saw 200 degree temperature, Daniel, we saw, we did the hottest brew and we saw 200 degree temperature coming out of it. That's what the tech, the, the Mocha Master does. Um, now the Mocha Master was a, seemed like it was more consistent at 200 degrees, which coffee has a lot to do with consistency. This one, it took just a little bit to get up to 200 degrees, but we did see 200 degrees, which I thought was very, very impressive. So yeah, they're, they're getting into, they're wanting you to order
So it, it recognized the one, so it didn't recognize, will it show the water level from the app? Ooh, great question. Great question. That would be fun, wouldn't it? I don't think they know, I don't think they know water level. And again, I don't know a ton about this app right now. Insert pod. Hmm. I'll have to get back to you on that. I don't think because I don't think it does. And I keep th there's like these categories here. You got brew, shop. These are your orders. Yep. Now, when it's time to clean now, so yeah, that's a great question. Um, this does have a D-scale light. And if you've heard my other videos, um, Keurig is changing the way they do their D-scale. Um, they're doing it, they're doing, they're counting your brews. So they're, oh, it does a power off in 15 seconds. That's pretty cool. It lets you know that it's powering off and does a little countdown timer. That's cool. Very cool, powering off. I'm never too worried about it powering off because these things, they just warm up so quick. But so the D-scale light is on the, how many brews you do. I forget the number. Um, but after so many brews, they automatically light the light whether you're, you have mineral deposits or not inside your machine. So, and I think they also monitor the inside of your machine to um, to see for calcium buildup and it'll light the light. So I think it's lighting the light with two things, with the amount of brews and calcium buildup. And they've also changed, you've got to, see this, they've changed things because the old Cure Eggs, people, there was a D-scale light, but it came on when your machine was dirty on the inside. And then it was you just ran vinegar through it. These things have a mode in this. That's been, um, I've done, my two biggest videos are the D scale on the K Supreme Plus and the K Supreme. Just because they've changed the way that they D scale them, you have to put the machine in a D scale mode. Okay, sorry about the reflection. So you've got to put the machine, so you've got to run it through that mode in order to um, get the D scale light to go out. So people treat it like their old machine and they just run vinegar through it through a brew process and the D-scale light's on, it'll always stay on because you've got to get it in that mode, D-scale mode. So I'm assuming that's, I haven't done that on this one yet, but I'm just, I'm pretty positive that's how this one's going to be too. So let's fix this. Yeah, here's the app. Let's go back. And again, I can turn my coffee maker on and off. That's kind of neat. And these are just swipe left, swipe right. Okay, yeah, let's, let's try to figure out that. Whoops. Let's try to figure out that. I've been wanting to run one of these. Let's do a, let's do a donut shop. Let's do it like backwards. See how I've got everything. Yeah, let's do it like this. Okay, brew ID. Let's see if you got what it takes. Oh yeah. Recommended brew settings. The original donut shop, Nutty Caramel. So let's, yeah, thanks Tom, yeah. Um, Delete favorite, press K to uh. Okay. Okay. Let's do this brew. 
That's a great question because people. Yeah, the five needle technology is very nice. Okay, so let's, the viewer asked me, so I'm gonna brew this and then I'm gonna turn it and brew it again. Now, if I turn it, I'll get water coming out of those. No, I'm not gonna do that because I'll get water coming out of those other holes. I'll just do another brew. I've cleaned up getting coffee grounds in there. These are no fun. When you get coffee grounds in this hinge area, it takes a long time to get them out. The original donut shop. Yeah, it's not sealed, yeah. Boy, those flavored drinks smell good. Nutty, this is the nutty caramel. But I will brew it again. So let's, that was six ounces. Let's just brew. Okay. I'm not going to turn it. Let's just put it in there again. It's going to sense that that's a re, that's an old K cup. Ain't no problem, James. You've been a big help, buddy. So let's, let's, let's do it. Let's do, whoops. One second, I gotta dump this coffee out. Okay, so this I'm reusing a K cup. I normally don't do this. This was a good question though. There's, I think there's a lot of people that do this. So we did get a little bit more coffee out of there. You can extract a little bit more coffee out of there, not much. But you know, that's what I tell people. There's, there's really no wrong or right to your, to how you use these machines. It's, it's, I know people are looking for the best taste, but you can play around with it until you find that if you brew your cups twice and it tastes really good to you, hey, that's great. Keep doing it. Um, if you brew it at the 10 ounce setting and you get a great tasting coffee, that's great. Try an eight ounce, try a six ounce, try a 12 ounce. You know, play around with these things. Find a setting you like. There's really no wrong way to brew a cake up. Now we can see that's pretty weak. That's brewing through it twice. But again, it's all about your, your taste. My taste is gonna be completely different than yours. Enjoy. So it did a pretty good job. Yeah, if you like a light coffee, yeah, that's a great. Thanks, James, for this tip. I like, if anybody else has got anything else you want to see. So I like that, you know, even though I put it in the same spot, I didn't get any coffee grounds up and around it. You know, this one does seem to be doing a little better job. The needles look exactly the same. I know the K Supreme Plus. Some people have had problems with coffee coming around. Maybe they're controlling it or something. I don't know. One other thing I did notice, so this basket is different. We've got this little hump here, and that has to do with that camera. So I think when you close it, they're really trying to protect that camera with this little hump. You cannot reuse the cocoa cups. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Tom. They got a powder in them, and it, it gets all the powder out of those. But you can see these... That's different. So the needle basket is going to be different. Whoops. I've tried to get this needle basket. There it is. I'm going to put the thing down. Let's take a look at the needle basket. See if they've changed anything other than this little hump. No, it looks looks to be except the wording's up at the top now where normally we're used to seeing the wording at the bottom other than that it looks exactly the same 
Yeah. We're going to use our standard paper clip to clean the needle out. Wouldn't you like that? Gosh darn it. Broke the... This happens to me once in a while. So I broke the little... The ear. On that. <laughs> I've done that on one of the, the K... The K Slim Alder or whatever I had. Broke that little ear. So now look. It's loose. That's a bummer. Bummer, bummer. Yeah, you can wash this. This is the bottom basket. Warranty, LOL, yeah. You know, I may actually give them a call. I hear, uh, I actually am going to give them a call. Uh, a lot of viewers have a lot of good things to say. I've not called them yet. And they seem to have a very good reputation. You know, I ordered this on their website. This one held together. I'll just use this one. See if I can use one off an old Keurig machine. Yeah, it works fine. So this part's the same. I am going to give them a call, though, and see if they'll send me a new brew basket. Or just this part. That's all I need. Uh, I, want to, I want to experience their customer service. Because um, I have had a lot of viewers contact them. You know. What happens with my K-Cup? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Okay, great. Great job, Tom. So let's put this back. I'll call Keurig. We'll get a new one. My K-Cup. i got to dig it up. Give me a minute. So I want to talk reuse. They, they are not recommending these reusable K cups. These, these are the single ones. These are the single ones. You got it, they have, I've got some that got five needles in them. But here's the, here's the, my, so yeah, this is a great, awesome, Tom, thanks. Glad you brought this up. Let's get some coffee. I like this, this donut shop, it's a very smooth, this is a very inexpensive coffee. Um, great value donut shop. They changed the way they, I don't like the way this, this doesn't seal very good. It's a tall, skinny thing now. So, okay. The Maya K cup, we've got the five needles. Now there's some, been some debate on this, um, this red thing. There's been a lot of viewers that leave this red thing on and they just rely on the, the pressure of the needle to push the red thing and they've had good brews. I did have a viewer say they they were leaving the red thing in and it did back up on them and didn't work properly. So I'm recommending we take the red thing off so that all five needles can go in here. Um, this red thing is so you can use this in older Keurigs. The older Keurigs that have the single needle, you won't get coffee coming out these holes. So for this machine, So for this machine, all five needles should fit, should fit on there. Well, of course I can't do it. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to, we're going to try it out. Let's, uh, let's fill it up with coffee. Ugh, making a mess. Yeah, coffee can be messy. All right. I really like this easy scoop. This is the gray filter that's got that wire mesh filter. I can add a little bit more. That is, you can, this is the only uh, reusable cup you can add just a little bit more. Not much. There, okay, we're at the max line. Yeah, the scooper, that's an easy scooper. I thought it was gimmicky at first. Uh, it's actually, I have to have it now when I do my reusable K-cups. So then we put this in this black thing. 
If there's a gray thing on the outside of your black thing, you got to take it off. That's for older Keurigs. Then we got to line up these, these white dots. You'll be in the unlock position and turn it to the lock. Verify that all of it's down. If it's one of those are out of track, it will be up. All right. So we got to go up here. We got to remove the needle. This one, we have to remove the bottom needle basket. So I always just poke from the bottom, set it off to the side. So this will only go one way. There's a big notch. There's a big notch opening there. Okay, let's see what our machine, if it recognizes it. Okay, the handle closed. Okay, I thought it was broke there for a minute. The handle closed really nice. I didn't have to force anything. So it just says classic brew. It doesn't recognize it, it doesn't say, but that's okay. Um, let's just do a classic brew. So I did get a few water drops. You know, I don't like when I get those water drops from the around the outside. That means it's not going through the K cup. At least it doesn't come out all over, but I am getting I did get some water drops around the outside. So that's a that coffee. Let me, um, let's check up here. So no real obvious signs. I bet I got some water that came around. I got evidence, yeah, I see some water. So some of the water did come up around the K-cup and go around. And when it, when all of it doesn't go into the K-cup, you'll get some that comes around the cap. And that's when it comes out other places that it shouldn't. But, you know, nothing too major. I do want to try that coffee. I've had some viewers saying uh, recently that their coffee's really, when they use a reusable K cup, their coffee's really weak. Sorry, Tom. This will probably make Granddad Tom cringe. Seeing all that sugar. Find my spoon. Let's a hot cup of coffee. Coffee mates, I know I do love coffee mates. This is my creamer of choice. I'm addicted to it. French vanilla, the powder. It's easier on my stomach for some reason. I think because the liquid form has gluten in it. I'm not gluten intolerant, I don't think, but um, I don't know. Just the powder form does really well. That's a very good cup of coffee. So with using the reusable filter, but again, so the option, so that brewed it at eight ounces. If it's, if it's weak to you, then just bump it down to six ounces. I know it's not very much coffee and that can be frustrating. Ooh, this thing's hot. So yeah, you got your impressions. Looks like it did a pretty good job. Do 
find this thing is pretty easy to use. I just don't like that you got to take the needle, ba needle bottom, bottom needle basket out. Any other things you guys want to see? Any other questions on it? We're at an hour and 10 minutes. Uh, I got a lot of videos on this coming. I've already posted quite a few. Thanks everybody for your support of checking them out. I think I'm up to 200 views or over 200 views on the kind of my first impression video on this one. But I'm definitely going to recommend buying it. Other than, you know, it is $200. That's, that's the only caveat. And it is a single serve coffee maker, but it's quiet, it's quick. Oh yeah, I was gonna figure out how to remember. The creamer is really bad for diet. Yeah, sorry. Okay, Tom. Granddad Tom, our honorary, honorary granddad Tom is leaving us. You have a great day, Tom, and I hope you get feeling better, buddy. I was gonna figure out how to memorize a setting. Customize, choose a size, and press the blinking once the brew is complete. Brew ID. They, again, everything they've upped their game in. Oh yeah, I wanted to show people. So let's put a cake up in. Let's put our brew basket back in. I love the wording that they use up here. I just love it. Again, for anybody that's just joining us, we're gonna show you this, this little light up here. There's like a camera up there. So let's close it. I'm thinking it takes a picture. That's my best guess. Or it's looking for this QR, maybe it's, maybe it's that QR code. But again, they've done a really nice thing. You don't, if your K cup doesn't have that code, that you can still brew it. Very smart, very smart. I don't know much about the old, old Keurigs, but I, know, I remember something around the 2.0. Um, you had to use their brand of Keurig cups and people were very upset. That was before my time of drinking coffee. Um, but I know they had to discontinue that, that brand right away. So let's, I wanna talk to you about five temperature changes. And they, they labeled them. This is what I love. So as I change the temperature, it changes the wording. So you can remember, oh, I like my coffee max hot. I like my coffee hot. I like my coffee warmer. Very smart. And same with the strengths. They went from balanced to rich to robust to strong to intense. Excellent. That's five levels. And you don't want to have to remember like, oh, I, I like number four strength. I like number three strength. I love that they gave those names. Oh, okay. There's where it's telling me. So I changed the settings and the screen told me how to press and hold the heart button to save as a favorite. Okay. Favorite saved. Rename in the favorites Keurig. So it calls it favorite two. This thing is, it kind of tells you you know, I, I just can't say enough good things about it. It kind of, it kind of tells you what you're wanting to know. Um, but again, now it just labels it favorites too. It told me that I could change the name in my app. So let's scroll through. We've got Karen two, Karen, Granddad Tom, favorite one, yummy. So let's let's go to the app. Let's change the name of that. Let's go to the favorites. There's all my favorites. And I forget how many favorites I can actually have. There's that one I just created. Oh, right there's where I changed the name. Let's call this James. There's my James. Hit save. There it is. Oh, wow. I got the add button right there. I can do it right from there. Cool. Let's, do, let's hit the brew. Nope, let's use the James. 
Let's use the James brew. Oops, see? Good thing it told me. I didn't have a mug there. I love that warning. Excellent warning. Remote brew in progress. The James Brew. Yeah, I love the no cup warmer. Thanks, James. I gotta tell you everyone, this is this has been probably my funnest live stream yet. They, they probably all won't be this fun because I don't get new coffee makers every day. <laughs> and they don't release new ones like this every day, but this has been really fun today. I really appreciate everybody joining in. I hope, I hope you've had as much fun as I am. I mean, I feel bad you guys don't have the actual coffee maker to actually play with. Um, I think you're really gonna like it if you can get it. Um, Keurig better have a lot of these ready to go. I think they're gonna sell a lot of them. I really do. Because once you get over the $100 mark, now there's machines under $100 that are good and simple and easy. But once you get over the $100 mark, you're gonna really start thinking about this one. And I'm gonna recommend that for over $100, this is the machine to get. Granted, it's $200. And they've got a lot of good machines between 100 and 200. But I wouldn't bother with a, a machine that was over 100 that wasn't this one, to be honest with you. Remote brew complete. Nice. The James Brew. You are a Pike Place roast, James. Let's do a hot water brew. If you don't have a pod in there, it says there's no pod, but you can press the K for a hot water brew. So let's do that. Oops. Because if we we all know we should do uh, hot water rinses. So press the K button. I can change the ounces. I love when you change the ounces, it just changes the display. I like that. Even though it lights this light up too, it also changes that display. So let's do a full, no, I don't have a big enough cup. Dispensing hot water. Now this is more of a fresh water rinse. I'm gonna be going here in just a minute. Has anybody got anything else they wanna see? Anything else? I, I, I couldn't have done this live stream without everybody. Uh, I've had some really good comments, questions that just really you know, opened up this live stream tremendously. I could not have done this without you guys. So thank you everybody, thank you. I'm gonna try something, so let's try the tap to cancel. Canceling hot water. It says canceling brew. So, the, so it is pretty fast response. I can cancel, canceling the hot water brew. Uh, the Cuisinart's, so Karen, which, um, yes, I've got one of them ready to be posted. It's uploaded, I just gotta uh, add a description to it. It's the 14 cup, the touchscreen Cuisinart against the older 14, the uh, the older Cuisinart touchscreen. 
So that one will be posting soon. Now the Grind and Brew, I probably won't do a comparison with it. That's a very, seems very specialized coffee maker. The K145. Always like the commercial models. You know, I. that's interesting you say that because I went to the Keurig website. They've got a whole business section for, for, for commercial grade. They've got some pretty fancy commercial grade coffee makers that are expensive. I think they've got like a thousand dollar one Keurig that's for commercial. So that's pretty neat. Ah, look, we got this brew canceled icon. Again, just I'll click OK. So it tells me I canceled the, the brew. So thanks everybody for joining. I think I'm gonna be signing off here. Let's see if we can find Fiona. I did say Fiona would make a guest appearance. She's back there sleeping on our bed. Fiona. Come here. Fiona. You wanna go out? Come on, let's go on. <laughs> She's being camera shy today. I'm gonna have to get her a treat. Fiona, come here. You want a treat? Say hi to everybody. There's Fiona. She's been sleeping. There you go. <laughs> She's tired. Go take it off. She is tired this morning. So again, the K Smart, K Supreme Plus Smart Brew ID Ultimate Customization. Yeah. Love the coffee maker. I'm gonna be doing several videos on this one. I've got some other ones. I've also got a ton of other coffee makers coming um, and I'll be doing lots of videos on those, but wanna go out, Fiona? Let's go out, come on. There's the Cuisinart one. It's been raining here all day. We've had a lot of rain. You don't wanna go in the rain? So thanks everybody for joining in. I really appreciate everybody today. Great questions. Uh, the live stream. This was again. This is my. This is the funnest one I've done so far. And just and thanks everybody for your support. Again, if you see an Amazon link or a Walmart link in my show description, it does help out if you click on those links. I do buy all my own products with my own money, and um, I do get a little bit of money when you click on the link because I am an affiliate. And uh, the products don't cost you anymore, but it is a way just to show support for me. And I do appreciate that because I am getting a lot of support. Um, I am making a little bit of money on Amazon right now with people clicking on the links. So just thank you, everybody. Most, okay. Thanks again. So thanks again, everybody. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, some people got their own personalized brew setting today. So <laughs> that was fun. Thanks, everybody. I'm going to be signing out. Yeah, she is cute. I love Fiona. She's spoiled rotten. Say hi, Fiona. Say bye. Bye, bye. You too. Have a great weekend, Karen. Oh, she's a good girl.